how can how can you achieve the the highest quality product uh, at the lowest cost? Uh, but yes, that this is what is uh, also driving uh, the companies and their management programs and the innovations and everything that produce the lowest cost product with the highest quality. And then fitness for latent requirement, that is where the innovation, all the tools, quality function deployment tool or uh, design thinking or any other innovation tool that we can think about. So what will be the uh, definition of quality or you can say how the quality management will evolve in the next 20, 30 years. So there could be a corporate culture, the fitness for corporate culture, or it could be fitness for a society or a global environment. So that could be the next uh, future direction. And we will not be only looking at only the customer needs or cost or usage, but we'll also be look at global environment and how we can satisfy or meet the requirement of the society. And that could define a good quality or the best quality product. For any quality management initiative, as we all know, it starts with quality management system. There is a Bible, there is a holy book, which is called quality manual, right? Because unless we have a manual, unless we have a written instructions, how all the employees can be trained, how all employees will be aware about which are the procedures to be followed, which are the formats to be filled. So this is a four tier structure, which uh, we all follow. Starts with the uh, overall uh, vision or the overall policy of the company, quality policy. Then we start with the procedures, all the procedures that we follow in the organization it could be a functional process, it could be a cross-functional process. Then it comes to work instructions that how repetitive work can be done. And then we have a forms, formats and records, right? So these are the four, uh, four level. Okay, now uh, a small exercise. Uh, you all have joined a new startup, which is a bakery startup. And the bakery wanted to deliver a product, quality product, that is a toast, toast jam uh, bread, bread which is toasted and the jam is applied. So can you quickly uh, describe the product uh, procedure, how company can achieve, how company can produce, and of course achieve the high quality, the only uh, uh, restriction is you cannot write in words. You have to draw in a, a, as a diagram. So anything you want to express, it has to be in the form of a diagram. I'll give you three, four minutes quickly. Uh, brush up your, your uh, school days of uh, sketching skills and just quickly prepare a process diagram to achieve the quality uh, bread, which is toasted, and the jam is applied, that is a product. Can you draw a process? <clears throat> online as well. Yes. If uh, any of the online participants, can you please draw uh, a process? And you bring your imagination. You think about all the process steps, sequential, whichever way you we have selected a manufacturing process which everybody would have done it at their home so it's not again difficult manufacturing process and then we have a surprise uh, element also uh, as we move in the program we have some practical experiments also to be done we have all the equipments and raw material available
Okay, once you are done with your process, uh, as we all know that uh, if we have drafted something, we cannot uh, review or we cannot audit. So your neighbor, whosoever sitting next to you will help you. So you exchange your process with, uh, uh, with your uh, neighbor and you suggest improvements in his or her process and he will suggest improvements in your process. Can we do that? Can we swap your process diagrams? Mm -hmm. Now our focus is not on judge, judging the drawing skills, but the concept behind it, the purpose behind it, and whether you have included all the steps or not. Uh, is there any scope for improvement? Now the objective is to deliver the best quality product to customer. So have you included all the required elements in this particular manufacturing process to achieve that? So we can discuss freely, two, three minutes of discussion. <clears throat> Any online participants would like to share their uh, drawing, please? How, how they will share? They can, they can uh, share the file. If they are on mobile, yes. if they are on mobile, they can take a snap and share. Yes. yes. And if they are on computer, then they have to shot. take the. No, no, they might have yeah. drawn on the paper. Right. So they can take a snapshot through their uh, laptop camera. Yes. Okay. And then sh then share in the chat box. Of course, in real life, you'll get a lot of time to describe your process, but this is just to give you a head start that in your organization today or maybe in future, if you will have to bring such improvements, and these are the parts, these are the process steps that you will follow. Yes. Any, any, any other, any question or anything that you would like to share? <clears throat> so how easy or difficult this describing the manufacturing process was, you know, though you might have done hundreds of times in your kitchen on at least on Sundays, if not on all days. Was it easy to describe as a process or difficult? It's always difficult. 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 Even though we might have done it unconsciously a number of times, times. but difficult. the moment we have to describe and that too in a graphical form, uh, it, it, it's uh, quite challenging. Okay. Think about have you covered all the steps? Because we are going to use your process and we are actually going to practically do a toast butter, toast jam, actually real drive. And those who volunteer will obviously get benefits of getting the bread, Hello. the jam, and toast it. And we will volunteer arrange. should always get some kind of benefits. Yes, and we'll arrange tea as well. And the tea. Tea when when can we expect tea? It is there. Actually. Is there? Yes. Okay. So now if now you all have, have drawn, I want two volunteers. Uh, to come forward and all other also will become volunteer and they will observe, uh, they will be customer, they will observe how the, whether the quality has been delivered or not. Yes, any two volunteers. Yes, every volunteer will get a bread actually, right? As a, yes. as a reward. 
management, leaders will come forward. Yes. No one will point out that aap a jao, aap a jao, uh -huh. right? If you yes. aspire to be a leader, yeah, come one. forward. Um. Yes, uh, any other person? Yes. Yes, okay. So we have excellent, we have two. Okay, all the equipments are there. You are free to use it. And please start your manufacturing process. So we will look at the, it the is there. cycle time. We will look at the quality. We'll look at how they are manufacturing. You have your processes, right? So we have two entrepreneurs, you right? You have your processes in, uh, written in the book. Now we have all physical equipments. Please start. Your time starts now. Let's see. Yeah, we have two entrepreneurs who is actually. So it's two startup entrepreneurs with their process ready. Now they have equipments. They have all the raw material available and they will demonstrate their skills as well as the world-class quality products. Uh, you should uh, uh, know the expectations of the customers. Your customers are here, right? You can ask question. You. you can ask questions. You can ask, yeah. So, as uh, this one has said, what kind of toast do you like? What do you expect from your toast and bread? Not the bottom. It should not be boiled. It should not be bought. Okay, that's a defect. Huh? Anything else? Uh -huh. <laughs> it should be properly baked. Uh -huh. It should be properly baked. You can ask definition of properly baked also. <laughs> to be very precise. Yeah. <laughs> that you can ask how much will will satisfy your hunger <laughs> I mean, reality, so, if you approach any restaurant and, uh, or delivery counter, and if you ask so many questions, other people will say, other customers will say, please go side. <laughs> we are in a hurry. And even person also will not be ready. But yeah, you can you can go ahead. So we are uh, starting as a uh, startup. So we need to uh, feedback from uh, each one of the customers. So uh, along with this, uh, I want to tell you uh, that how much uh, amount should I uh, place the uh, uh, jam? So depending upon your, uh, you, you might have a bit your sugar. So for that time, in, in that point of your jam. Jam should be medium, right? Not only. First, we know the expectation of the customer. Yeah. So, next. So, will we get toast jam today or tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> so the next process should be to design that product. Okay. Yeah. So, how many of you are going to uh, take? Uh, everybody. You got one volunteer. There's only uh, courageous oh, people will raise hand, but I would say everybody. Why Nobody not? was. So, you should. It depends on how 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 much business you want. <laughs> you don't want business from all, so you should so give sample to everybody. Everybody is there, so yeah. So give the sample. <laughs> so there are electrical connections uh, below the desk. Your time has already started. You already used utilize five minutes. How much time you have given me? Okay. Yeah, you just plug in and switch on, uh, it should start. But once you insert the bread, then only, and if you push the lever, then only it will, it will start heating. No, yeah, you right now we have to. Yeah, it's a startup, no? <laughs> Constrain <laughs> our resources. Is the plug so, started? Yes. Just, just to continue what you said, uh, 
So, uh, uh, right now seeing this uh, amount of whatever resources are there, I can show my screen three resources right now. No, you can cut the pieces. Think about the ways and means <laughs> to satisfy the need. Reach out to as many customers as possible. Now imagine that your CEO is observing you, how you are going to manufacture, how you are going to achieve the quality. What kind of pressure you will have in real life. Yeah. And, and these are happening in industry. Yeah. He can, he can uh, second this opinion. So achieving the world-class quality is all about minute observation, looking at uh, practices, looking at the skill level of individuals, uh, raw materials used, equipments, machinery used, everything contributes into, into the world-class quality. Yeah, it will come, it will come. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. It would depend on the timer, right? Yeah, it's the temperature setting that they have selected. Yeah, so it will come. The good things takes time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you all are observing how they are manufacturing. So please, uh, uh, you need to good. comment on it. Huh? The toast the have come out finally. Yeah, show it to the camera. Oh, it is looking. Hi, oh, I think it's looking very really good. Perfect. No, yeah. I mean, let customer decide. Just show it to camera. Perfect. Yeah. Quality yeah. is only uh, when customer says yes. This is a good quality. We always try to follow experiential learning methodology, and that's how we try to bring games, simulations, sometimes this kind of real life examples so that the participants get first hands-on experience and then they can uh, also practice. <clears throat> I all have to suggest the improvements in what they have done. As I can see, there are a couple of uh, improvement points already. Yes, and we have T also synchronized. Yes, T is also being served. Okay, good. Okay, so we have customers as well, right? <laughs> yes, yes, you have all the right to yes. ask. You can appreciate it, depreciate. <laughs> now, there are various ways and means to prepare, right? And you all can contribute into improvement. So, we have to define the process and then. You already defined, right? I believe. Then we have to implement the process. Now, just look at it. Did you follow what steps you have mentioned, or you have done something else which was not there? Then they will. Uh, then we have to recalibrate our process. Correct. Yeah. So process. two. 
So look at your process, whether you have followed only this many steps or you have followed more steps which are not there. Or you have mentioned the steps, but you might not have followed. So just look at it. That That is called audit, Devi process audit, right? Deviation from the plan. Deviation from the process. Process, process flow diagram. Now you see the variation, the first batch and the second batch. And there are also reasons why this variation is also coming. So it may be a small thing, toast, making a toast, but it's a manufacturing process. So the product should not deviate from what we want it to do. Yeah, so do you see there is a deviation between the first batch and the yeah. second batch? Yeah, and what is the reason? Even though the settings and everything was so the we, same? We, we should calibrate our data. No, you process. kept it more time inside even after the toast uh, was done. So, so try to find out the root causes of your problem, why you face this problem. And that is that, that will help you to um, make an improvement journey. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Why? The jam but is there. We have to finish bread and jam. But it's smelling quite good, actually. Whatever so. Yes. yes. And the smell open up the hunger. <laughs> <laughs> so that's also a reality. Yeah. Yes, so we have a tea also. Thank you very much, sir, mm -hmm. for bringing wonderful tea along with the toast butter. Yes. Let us yeah, start okay. from the customers, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. We have enough number, enough tea? Uh, yes. Okay. You should uh, take much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Biscuits, sir. Okay. Also, no, we, 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 your all learning will be shared. Just, you just finish right now, finish all the batches so that it reaches to the customer, and then we have enough points to discuss. Quickly finish up. You already taken 15, 12 minutes. Yeah. And then your reflection, as well as other participants' reflection, which will help all of us to learn. So ultimately, our objective is to learn out of this experience. So now the way practice makes the person perfect, as we can see now the speed has gone up, the yes. quality level has also reasonably uh, gone up, confidence level, confidence level has gone up, yeah. and the coordination teamwork has also started happening. They are following process also now, yes. we looked at the process. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, it's enough for everybody, at least uh, those who are attending. We want peace and pass it on. Let's go yes. people have experience. Thank you. No problem. I'm sure that it will satisfy your hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah. So future improvements, yeah, there can be many improvements you can bring. You can also add photographs. You can define the criteria, acceptance, rejection. You can have a tolerance criteria. All these things you can define. Yes. 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 There should be one control time. Yeah, absolutely. So first step you have defined in your process, then you have done manufacturing, now it's time for measurement. So you all have observed uh, them performing. So I would like you to share one good point that you observed and one area of improvement. So start with a good point and then one area of improvement that they can. Oh, yeah, thank you. 
you please take you have done a lot of efforts yes yes please feel free to uh, speak yeah one good point about the team first of all give them a big hand yes sir and job not easy then 30 40 eyes are looking at you and then you are <laughs> you are doing it in your kitchen you are alone so you can do everything but your 40 eyes are looking at you and then yes your reflection and then other participants can share their your reflection hello Yes. Anybody would like to share good point as well as one area of improvement? Yes, sir. The good point is they took the initiative. Yeah. Well, and I do rightly said. Yeah. And they demonstrated their hard work. Good. They are promising, able to deliver. Yes, that's the main thing. Okay. Any improvement opportunity you can suggest them? Because you are all experienced, highly experienced uh, industry leaders. From quality point of view. I think may not be uh, applicable for this uh, process per se, but then when you start any manufacturing or any process. You should have your uh, raw material located at a defined position, mm. so that uh, the overall process, right from the time, what we call in typical the uh, time to market, then, that gets optimized. That first thing. Second thing is uh, decide the responsibility. What you are going to do, what you do. Yeah, very important. Good suggestion. I'm not saying that we would not have decided, but probably it got decided randomly, mm. and we have less time. Mm. Ethan sir has given a very stiff time. target. <laughs> okay, okay. This is just a few points. Thank you very much. One point, sir, from quality related. Yes. According to your that bread and that jam. Or the expiry date. Mm -hmm. That also should be checked. Yes. But I think first is checked from the bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Your reflection. Your learning. Key learning from. But this. one thing I will say in this that uh, what uh, they ask for the that let me understand the requirement first, which often people skip actually. They mm -hmm. just start working on it. So that's a good thing yeah. they they have done. Yes, your reflection, your key learning out of this. Uh, so I have observed a bit before here uh, in the KFC. I used to go everybody. Okay. So they, they give me the one of best uh, uh, food industry why because they they are committed to their uh, following basic rules so that like uh, some quality standards like they serve the uh, uh, person who is. Uh, Customer will arrive within seven minutes of time. So there is a tagline over there written inside. They are serving their customer within seven minutes of time. So some of the and when uh, second thing is they are uh, hygienic. So they won't allow any uh, any person with without any gloves, without any dress, without any uh, uh, hair cover covering of hair. So these are the quality standards somewhat uh, defined by the uh, food industry. So then uh, there. Uh, considering the amount of uh, what what they call meat and then uh, some customer fixed uh, vendors are there, so they order their uh, raw materials from that purpose, from purpose industrial purpose only. So entire uh, the dot from product raw material to the final uh, final uh, from our outcome entire plan is fixed. So that control plan needs to be very uh, useful and ready. Another thing just to add, then, because you took the example of KFC, if I eat something, uh, I'm a vegetarian, but still, 
uh, if you read something in the Nimara case, it should say the same thing in Toyota. Something that, that's an important matter which probably McDonald's follows throughout the group. The burger BQ have it in Pune and probably the burger BQ have it in Chennai would probably be the same thing. That, that's important to us. So the final product is irrespective of the location of the material because they have very much set processes in terms of the raw material expression, in terms of the process parameters. So that's also is very important. Because today, taking this example, today you are having one location, but maybe in future you will open up 18 locations, right? Whatever policy you have in maintaining this first initial location, you should have a similar concept. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Good. I think we should have. So once you define uh, your processes and then you manufacture, start manufacturing, <clears throat> then you have to measure. Because unless we measure, how do we know whether it is helping us to achieve the world-class quality? And that's where there is a data collection is extremely important. So once we measure, again, uh, in a practical uh, situation, in industry, either we have too much of data, and then we might find it very difficult to analyze or uh, make a meaningful observations or inferences, or we may have very less data. The both cases, too much of data and too less data will not help. <clears throat> and that's why we need to have a disciplined uh, disciplined way of collecting data. Nowadays, of course, with the ERP system, we all uh, can uh, gather the right kind of data instantly. But not all companies, especially a small and medium-sized companies, not all companies have ERP system. So that's one of the limitations that we are living with. <clears throat> okay, now, once we collect the data, how do we know that we, what is the level of quality that we have we have achieved. So that's where the Six Sigma uh, is helping us to define the Sigma level of the process. And we'll uh, quickly, we will uh, we'll, uh, do one exercise. What I'll do is I'll give you a letters, a random letters, a team of two people. You have to use those letters and you have to prepare a spelling, English spelling. Only a person's name or the, or the noun and the slang will not be allowed. You use word only one uh, letter only once in making a word. So I will be giving you nine letters first and then nine, nine letters in the second time. So total you will get 18 letters. So from first nine letters, you have to make a meaningful spelling. I'll give you 20 seconds. And in the second round also, you have to make spellings. So you two people, please be careful, be attentive. The letter should be minimum three letter. It could be four letter. It could be five letter. It's up to you to decide. Online people can also do this. Yes. Okay. They yes. So the this is uh, the first round. These are the letters that you can use. Prepare a spelling, which is a meaningful spelling. <clears throat> And you can use one letter only once. 
<clears throat> so this way you will also get the exposure of uh, measuring your process sigma in your company at least at the most elementary basic level and then once you do a six sigma certification and all you will have so many you will get more so many tools minimum three letter word minimum three letter word you have to make only once you can use one one letter so for example the letter b cannot be used three times it can only be used once one letter only one time yes okay now i'm moving to second round okay these are the second letters second set of letters quickly make the spelling meaningful spelling out of this So there is a resolution issue actually. No, no resolution to set करने कोशिश कर रहा है. I think we can use that one. नहीं सही नहीं होगा तो देखा. नहीं वो वो easy एक ही बनेगा. Okay, so how many words you could make and how many unused letters? Total unused letters. Can you just write down number of words that you you made? And number of unused letters. Let's see. Let's try. so how many unused letters just write down the number of unused letters you could not and how many spellings you could make and this is how you can calculate your uh, defect per million opportunities so the unused letters you could not use it are the called defects the the letters you have used in the spelling they are acceptance accepted so you this this is the way you can calculate your defect level defect per million Right now you had eighteen total eighteen letters. Suppose you have three unused letters, so three defects. The so number of defects three into one million divided by number of opportunities eighty. You will get a number, and then when you look at this table, there is a DPM or corresponding number. You will get a sigma level. Defect per million opportunities. Opportunities. Okay. Yes, it is DPM. So can you calculate quickly using your mobile phone calculator? What is your DPMO? Total opportunities were eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Out of eighteen, if there are three unused letters, then you had three defects. There are five unused letters, and then you had five defects. <laughs> okay. So one person make port, eat, 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 and great. so you can find out suppose your dp mo level is in the range of between 66000 and 80000 in that case you can say your process six sigma level i mean process sigma level is between 2.9 to 3 how many were there nine nine letters were there total 18 18 no total 18 letters nine 18 letters okay. so out of 18 how many were not utilized 
those are the defects so you calculate that defects per million opportunities so if you have only 3.4 defects per million then you are six sigma your most this of process them are, is a six sigma i think reaching to one sigma will be difficult right now it seems to no normally you will be between two to three sigma okay most of the people will be in the range of two to three sigma easily because given the time constraint mm -hmm. and that's a good start because you have very limited time actually it's very limited right. time but there are very limited letters as well also also if right. you have more time we can have seven mm -hmm. or eight rounds and then it, your sigma level will go up right. and that's what happens in the industry you get you get more work than <clears throat> the time you have this was just a brief introduction about finding out the sigma level of your current process now let's say if you are a manufacturing company and if you are manufacturing parts and uh, you are doing only partial inspections out of the batch of 1000 you are selecting 5 or 10 but in that case you have to find out the number of opportunities multiplied by number of units which are there so in each part suppose there are five opportunities and if there are 1000 samples then 1000 into 5 there are 5000 possible opportunities it's the same the trajectory is the same so what is your sigma level what which one 1.5 okay yeah anyone else you got uh, an idea how to do it yeah. okay wonderful <laughs> Now, if your sigma level is low, for example, that indicates that you have more opportunities for defects, and uh, then you must do analysis. And for such analysis, you will have so many uh, quality control tools available, like root cause analysis, then you have uh, 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 5W1H kind of analysis tool. There are so many practical analysis tools available, which you can use it. One of the tool which you can also use it is the process mapping. You map your process that from which process steps there was a defect or a possibility of defect. You can also categorize the level of defect. Is it due to a, a skill of employee? Is it due to my machine, uh, which is uh, which is old probably, or uh, is it due to raw material quality variation? So you can find out what is the root cause. Uh, analysis uh, root cause of your particular uh, uh, defects and this will help you to find out the gaps uh, once you know the gaps then uh, it's time to improve once you know that these are the gaps then you have uh, you have you have a goal that you want to improve your sigma level from three sigma to five sigma three sigma to five and a half sigma and and then you can uh, <clears throat> Uh, you can use benchmarking as a tool. You can start uh, uh, training your uh, your uh, your executives. You can uh, look at your machines, equipments. You can look at your data collection and uh, capture the right uh, data. All this can be done. Then you have a pilot program. So this then it becomes a change program, change project in your company. And then you implement those change programs that will bring you all the improvements. Now, there are two, two words which are used quite frequently in the, in the industry. One is corrective action and one is a preventive action, right? So when there are defects, I mean, you have observed certain defects, obviously you have to take corrective action immediately because those defects should not uh, go to customer. But there, is, there should be more focus on preventive action because, okay, whatever batch you have produced, there you have taken corrective action. Maybe you have rejected the batch. Maybe you have recycled it. But if you don't prevent it for future, maybe the repetition may happen. So there also more focus should be on a preventive action. Now, uh, as you have seen, there, there could be many different ideas in, in this bread uh, toast manufacturing process. There could be a number of ideas. 
So you also have to find out how you generate more ideas from all the employees. Mm -hmm. And that's where our brainstorming tool and many other design thinking tool, uh, six thinking had as a tool. There's so many such management tools that you can use it uh, to, that there is a suggestion box that many companies are keeping to get the idea uh, uh, suggestion from the people who are working in the software. <coughs> so all these uh, tools you can use to, to collect the ideas for improvement. And brainstorming process is very, very effective uh, in industry to find the new ideas. But as I mentioned, uh, the most important part is to understand customer's quality criteria. Who is the customer? and which criteria the customers are applying to, to evaluate whether the quality uh, uh, is acceptable or quality is above the standard or below the standard. <clears throat> then uh, improvement will come. And uh, once you uh, implement your change program, change projects, then obviously you will reflect whether those change programs have worked in your favor or not. Uh, were there any breakthrough ideas which, uh, which uh, has helped you or uh, which can help you in future as well? And uh, how did new ideas, how the team, what team did, how the new ideas were encouraged, whether employee participation was there or not. So all these things, you can, you can do a reflection. And the reflection is extremely important uh, in uh, management. Because without you reflect, how do you know whether you have really achieved uh, the change program and whether it will help you in future or not? So reflect, reflection is most important. It will also help you to improve the processes of improvement or processes of collaboration within the company. It will also improve the communication in the company. <clears throat> now, once you know that, yes, your, uh, you implemented certain change programs, it has worked well for you, then you can institutionalize, then you can regularize it, update your, your quality management manual, uh, uh, share uh, that updated manual or instruction with all the employees, train them so that even new employees, when they come, they are updated or they take training using the new manual, updated manual. And there are no gaps in understanding or in communication. <clears throat> uh, before we move into TQM, uh, uh, TQM uh, uh, pillars, this one concept of cost of quality is often ignored. There are two cost of quality. One is a cost of good quality and one is a cost of poor quality. Uh, of course, uh, most of the company is concerned and uh, focus too much on cost of poor quality. And they might also capture the data related to cost of poor quality. There are again two, uh, two division of cost of poor quality. One is the internal failure and one is the external failure. External failure means when your machine or equipment is dispatched to customer and during the warranty period, during the trial run commissioning, during the life cycle of the product, there are issues related to design, manufacturing, or some defects. Those are external failure. And those costs are huge. They are, if we, if we look at the preventive cost as a one unit, then the cost of external failure is at least a thousand times. Again, it depends on which industry. If you are, we are talking about airline industry, it may be a million times. So external failure must be avoided at any cost. Then we have internal failure. That means within the factory, within the premises, within the service organization, if we can uh, identify the defective batch or the errors, then we can, we can reject those batches. We can take corrective action. We can take preventive action, but still those costs are high because you already process raw material. You already utilize your manpower in uh, production or in, in uh, ser delivering services. But the good thing is that there is a cost of good quality. That means if you invest into appraisal cost or a prevention cost, then you can prevent it. So if you train your employees, it's still a cost because uh, you have a trainer cost, you have employee salary, they are away from the work. It is a cost, but it will save your internal and external failure cost. 
If you have an inspection program, it's still a cost, but it is appraisal cost. And it is still cheaper to have inspection rather than external and internal failures. There are other tools you can use it in combination with, uh, uh, with uh, quality improvement or quality management tools. The Lean, Six Sigma, then you have uh, PDCA as a quality improvement tool, Kaizen, continuous improvement, and so many other tools that you can. Quality Circle is another good concept which is working uh, across the industry, especially the manpower intensive industry where uh, there's an interaction between man and machine and, uh, and, and the people can participate in uh, improving the quality. So these tools also you can combine with your, uh, in your quality management program. Now, so if we look at the uh, uh, fitness to standard or fitness to use or fitness to cost, are more centered towards the quality control. Then we move to quality assurance, that we have a quality control as a department, but we also have a quality assurance department, which takes care about uh, preventing the external and internal failure. But then again, that is, that is still allowing some damage to happen, and it does not ensure that you are doing continuous improvement. So TQM is, quality control, quality assurance, as well as continuous improvement. When we combine all three, then it becomes TQM. So how can we achieve uh, TQM? We all go, of course, we have to have a quality control, very, very robust quality control department. We should have a quality assurance team. And then we also have to have, a, when we say total quality management, that means total means entire organization. It cannot be uh, left to a quality department's responsibility to achieve TQM or a manufacturing department or a commissioning team to achieve the total quality. Total quality means CEO to security guard, anyone and everyone in terms of hierarchy and from your end supplier, your entire supply chain to entire your distribution chain. Everyone has to play a role in total quality management. If you truly, you want to uh, you want to migrate from a, a quality, typical quality management to total quality management. It requires communication, it requires decision making based on data, based on facts. It requires admitting that yes, we have a problem, we have issues. Customer centricity, unless we have empathy, unless we have a customer centric mindset, it is impossible to achieve total quality because if we are too focused about our, our product costing and our profit and, and those internal issues, then we will not be able to take, uh, we will not be taking right decision which are in favor of customer. So customer uh, uh, centricity, continuous improvement, employee participation, communication, decision-making, uh, integrated system and cross-functional collaboration these are all important pillars of TQM. <clears throat> and even before you think about TQM or quality management or anything, it all starts with us as individual. It all starts with our mindset. So there can be many traits of a good quality manager or a good uh, entrepreneur or a good CEO, I would say. But I found these three one of the most important dimension or a trait that anyone should have. And this has to be in every individual. It starts with empathy. Do we have empathy about customers and other stakeholders? Are we thinking uh, in their shoe that what they, are, they will face if we are not able to achieve or if we are not able to deliver this particular thing? Unless we have empathy, we will not be thinking about improvement. Second is a commitment. Quality management or a TQM is all about commitment. Come what may, come what may, we have to achieve or improve our sigma level. We have to deliver world-class quality and zero compromising attitude kind of thing. And that requires a very, very strong commitment and adaptability. Why adaptability? Because the world is changing. Customers are changing. Customer requirements are changing. So 
so if we don't adopt if we don't adopt to these changes probably we will miss the uh, opportunity available as far as tqm is concerned so I, I i will encourage all of you to think about these three important traits and dimension and try to try to cultivate try to share it with uh, with other other individuals uh, those who are involved in the, in the in the industry and let them change their mindset let them think about these dimensions let them start changing themselves first it's easy to point out to somebody that up you change but let us start ourselves let, let us give opportunity of change to ourselves first with these three important dimension and then everything will start changing it's all about uh, tqm but tqm is about customer delight for competitive advantage that means we should be better than our competitors so we have to achieve customer delight no doubt about it we have to be better than competitors that's why we have advantage and ultimately what we we should manage we should manage for performance the world class performance that or the benchmark that we have set for ourselves so it's not just a quality management there is a objective of customer delight competitive advantage and improvement in our performance or setting a new benchmark for us that is what is a true transition from quality control to tqm okay that's it i think we are uh, we have five seven more minutes uh, before we close and uh, we should discuss if there are any other observation if you want to share any of your experiences many of you are from industry and uh, online participants also please uh, feel free to speak we are all uh, all listening to your experiences or anything any questions we can discuss any Chat questions anybody has Oh, yeah, no, there's a, yes, know. yes, please. This is floor is open to everyone. We started five minutes late, but I think we are on time now. Yeah. Yes. And before we before we end, there has to be a quick quick reflection. What are the key learnings from today's discussion? Any new learning that you might have? Uh, any other observation any other sharing you would like to share your other experiences please feel free yes yeah. entrepreneurs to customers uh, vivek shraddha here yes sir yes yes yeah uh, like what from the practical experience uh, what uh, the demo was shown from that uh, we have to take a learning that on paper and practically we have to follow the same process there shouldn't be any deviation yes that's right follow the process basically adhere to the process thank you okay I appreciate the clarity of thoughts on shift from producer to customer. Okay. Yes, please, please feel free. You have any question or anything that you comes to your mind, please. It's a journey. It's a long journey. It takes couple. Hey, KG. Few years. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Kalyan here. Uh, really appreciate the. Uh, real shift which we talk about paradigm shift which we talked about and i have personally experienced these things what you mentioned specifically being in the software industry we had seen where we had made lot of assumptions about our products and what quality means to us from our own organizations so today what uh, we need to focus on each stakeholder there not necessarily the customer each stakeholder as to what they interpret as quality that is the big shift which we need to do uh, now and uh, it's a very good learning thank you yeah thanks kalyan good evening this is shahid here yes, yes shahid yes it was a very wonderful session knowledge transfer session and also it was a very good you explain about the tqm this is a reality we need at site and everywhere the total quality management 
it, it, it mostly in the most of the organization where the most of the quality failure is there they are using the quality only for the documentation purpose and for the not in practical in tqm i agreed with your thought and i also studied the within and i as a six sigma belwick belt in tqm we need to follow the each and every process we need to train the, for all the people and make him the learning in the improvement at every process that's why we will get the good six sigma level and good quality of the product and saving in terms of the time cost and reputation also in the market competitive advantage it was a very nice session thank you mr vip thank you very much thanks for sharing thank you anyone okay i think like to please yes yes please yeah yeah okay so there is a, there is a question here that if we document the process and if we write down everything then are we not uh, uh, are we not limiting you, you, yeah. limiting our own uh, creativity and new ideas so there are two things one is when you when you document the process when you think about the process at that time you have to explore all the ideas all the new ideas that which is the best way to to follow this process that is point number 1 second when you collect the data and if you find out that somehow there is a there is a gap there is a variance between what level you want to achieve and what is the current level at that time again you can brainstorm and collect so many new ideas that which way we can further improve but once you once you know that okay as on today our understanding and our knowledge about this particular process is it has to be followed in this way then till you have a new knowledge about that process everyone should follow that process so the document suppose you are starting you are a new startup company for example so today you write your quality manual version 1 within 6 months you may have version 2 or version 3 if the document has to be live document if you visit industry and if you find that the last two years they have not revised any of their processes without looking at manual you can very well say somehow the company has is not being able to do a total quality management because it is impossible in today's context that in last two years so many changes have happened and your not a single process or not a single format has changed it has to be live document but if you leave it everything on 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 employee then it becomes a subjectivity but what i feel as a good quality maybe i am a worker you are a supervisor so if it is not defined then i will say this is a good quality but as a supervisor you will say no this is a poor quality because you have more experience dealing with customer than me so somewhere you have to document it and that document is valid till new knowledge till the document is updated so when you are drafting or designing a process you collect all the inputs when you are solving a problem and there you can collect all the inputs you have to utilize all everyone's uh, knowledge and experience uh, even a shop floor worker everyone can contribute into into a total quality management but once you know that okay as on today this is the best process that we need this is the best method this is the best format that we can use freeze it let the people follow so this way you are combining both you are utilizing creativity of the people at the same time you are also asking people to follow a same process so that even if people are changing uh, in the work the output remains the same Okay, I think we have okay, come to the. You can come over here. This yes, is a camera. Yes. So good evening to all, and uh, 
I take this opportunity to uh, give a vote of thanks and uh, it was excellent session uh, given by Mr. Ketan Gandhi sir, relevant to the industry requirements and whatever the requirement that to total quality management from the initial quality aspects, customer satisfaction, need of uh, satisfying customers to the overall managing all the activities so as to have world-class product getting developed. And not only for manufacturing side, but all service sector, construction side, civil engineering, all these aspects that will be implemented. Even in day to day life also, we are using these particular aspects of TQM. And uh, really, sir has uh, given us hands on by uh, giving this process implementation. Some of the volunteers, they uh, tried it and we have learned it from doing this action activity and uh, the learnings has happened. So really, sir, uh, we thank and thank I take this opportunity from the uh, Department of Manufacturing and Industry Management who are uh, hosting this uh, along with this uh, Project Managers Club Pune. And I appeal all the online participants also that uh, now uh, we can have this physical session because more or attention will be there towards presentation towards the activities which has been carried out. Though uh, those who are not able to attend, uh, it will be online, but uh, physical mode always it will be better and it will give energizing all the people. So uh, again, I thank all the participants who were there for uh, online mode uh, since last uh, two, one and a half hour or so. And really uh, the wonderful session and uh, this, uh, whatever uh, takeaways from this is nothing but implementing this TQM in our uh, activities so as to have improved quality of life. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just one thing, we are hosting this hybrid model first time. So we, I request all of you to please let us know feedback. I'm sure there will be some lack of uh, arrangement and there was some teaching troubles. We would like to improve we also want to implement some quality and we want some feedback from all of you so online and the people sitting here please give us the feedback that where we need to improve and we will try to do a better hybrid model next time more understandable thank you very much photo, photo. group photo we'll take yes. we'll take a group photo yes okay so for for online people i think we can close and then yeah. we can have it for physical people we can have a call we can have a, 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 a group photo Great. Thank you very much, all of here, and we'll close it.